free concerts right by the lake, jazz nights, and a Warhol exhibit. Those are just some of the things coming up at the MAC at the College of DuPage. I spoke with Diana Martinez to find out more about it all. It's an art center at College of DuPage, and, uh, but it's, it's really more than an art center because we have a museum, we have three theaters, we have our own symphony, we have a resident theater company, and then we have a huge uh, touring season. And each summer we do a big exhibition for art. And you have some wonderful programming going on. You have the Lakeside series coming up. It's coming up. It starts right after the 4th of July weekend, and we do free outdoor summer concerts, and it's beautiful, it's by a lake, and the performances are a step up than what you'd see at a typical, you know, festival, mm -hmm. because they're all really kind of performance art related. Okay, and you have concession stands, so it's really a, like a whole theater experience. It is. You know, like one of the bands we have is The Greatest Piano Men, and it's not just a guy that sounds like Billy Joel, it's Billy Joel, Elton John, Stevie Wonder, backup singers, horn section, it's a production. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then you're already starting programming for next season. We are. Tell us about that. So next season starts in September and we're really excited and actually a WGN person is going to be in next season, Our Pat Tomasulo. Pat Tomasulo, yeah. And we do about 30 touring shows with international acts. We have Vaktiv coming from Disney. We have um, Malevo from Argentina. Then we have, we have comedy, music, dance. It's it's a, a really phenomenal season. And I know you are in charge of a lot of the programming. How do you decide what type of acts you want to bring in and, 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 and introduce the community to? You know, um, that's the hardest part of my job. And I think for me, because we're an art center, I want to make sure that everybody feels welcome and included. And I want a, a, something for my jazz fans. So we have Jazz at Lincoln Center coming for Valentine's Day that'll oh, do nice. all the old standards. Um, then I want to make sure I do dance. So we have Palabolas coming. I want to make sure that we do some comedy. So that's where Pat Tomasulo and Second City come in. Mm -hmm. And then we want to make sure we do things that people might not normally see, like Vaktiv, which is an acapella group from Disney. And they exploded. And so they are going to do a holiday show, but mix in all the Disney favorites. Oh, that sounds fantastic. And you have an Andy Warhol exhibit coming up. We do. Tell us that about that. That will be huge. We are working with Bank of America's collection. They have 94 original Warhols. And what we do for that is we transform the entire art center so it's over 10,000 square feet of experience. Mm. And so you'll see a historical section. Mm -hmm. You'll see the 94 pieces. But we want to make it fun and interactive. So you're going to be able to walk through Andy Warhol's New York with an interactive Google phone kind of experience and do a walkthrough of New York where he had his studio, Absolutely. Studio 54. And there'll be a Studio 54 experience and the garden will be transformed into Central Park. So it's, it's an afternoon. You spend the whole afternoon there and have fun. All right, if you'd like to check out the Mac Art Center at the College of DuPage for an upcoming event, just head to their website at themac.org or you can call the number there on your screen. I was amazed at the the offerings that the Mac yeah, has. Yeah, talk it about is, diverse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and world class. Yeah, that's cool.